and good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Time Warner Cable News on this Wednesday, September 3rd. Your top story is when it comes to technology, the smaller the better. Scientists at Quantum Materials are working on something that has a lot of applications from solar energy and beyond. And our Just Mitchell is getting to see it firsthand this morning and uh, getting a lesson too, right? I think we're all getting a lesson. I am, and I'm really checking out something really very cool, Todd, and we want to show you this. So this is the um, quantum dot. There are quantum dots in there, right, David? Right. This is actively producing quantum dots. And then the, the big wow. Show us. This with is the, the light. big wow. So I'll take a quick look here. This is sample we had collected earlier. It's an active material. Okay. For use in solar display lighting. Okay. But if you make it in the small quantity, then you can't meet the industrial demands for right. it. Especially for solar, we need to have a much better production method. So these are quantum wow. dots being produced in flow. And this is a breakthrough production methodology for us in that you can, ha you can produce so many quantum dots in a typical run compared to what had been done by a single batch. Okay, so quantum dots are obviously very small. How many are in there? Well, they're a billionth of a meter in size, so okay. we're, we're collecting billions as we go. Collecting billions. And then what, what is the power of quantum dots? What can they do in our world? So like I said, it's an active material. And basically, the way I look at it, it changes from one state to another. So you can take, for solar, for example, you'll change a photon coming in from the sun to an electron. In displays and lighting, it basically is a color shifting. So it's a, an active material that can be used as a phosphor replacement. Phosphors for lighting, for TVs, for displays have been around for a very long time. This is the new generation of nanomaterials that does the same thing more efficiently and with a very tight performance characteristic. So there's all is the next wave, the next wave of things being created, and we're fortunate, you know, here in our area that we have companies like this in San Marcos and located in San Antonio and in Austin that are creating these, you know, cutting edge products. It really is very cool, huh, Todd? Look at that. Check it out. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, it's technology in a tube. We love that. All right, that's, that's pretty cool. Just don't get it on you. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Since 2013, Texas State University students have worked alongside scientists at Quantum Materials. They're helping them with advanced research.